Paul Begala is a professional wrong person who's a former advisor to President Bill Clinton. And today on CNN, he was asked whether or not Biden has done everything in his power, used his full power as president to push for voting rights. And he's going to make an admission that isn't necessarily too surprising, but really for him to say the quiet part loud, the way that the Democratic Party establishment truly feels about voters, it's, it's still a little jarring to hear. So watch as he is going to say that it's not that the Democratic Party has bad leaders, it's that the Democratic Party has bad followers. Yes, you are the problem, not Joe Biden, not Joe Manchin, you, you're the problem. Let me start with you and the words of the daughter-in-law of Martin Luther King Jr., Andrea Waters King. This is what she told Politico, quote, what we have seen with President Biden is what happens when he puts the full force and power behind an issue like infrastructure. What we want to see is that same power and passion being put behind voting rights. Do you think that's fair criticism? Did President Biden put more effort into getting infrastructure passed, for example? Well, he he got infrastructure passed, and that's a good thing because success can can breed success. He is putting the full force of the presidency behind it. I think the problem for the Democrats right now is, is not that they have bad leaders. They have bad followers. Okay, I read the most amazing essay today from Andy Young. You know, Andy is former mayor of Atlanta, former UN ambassador, and more importantly, probably the closest confidant and aide to Dr. King. He told the story. December of 1964, uh, Andy Young and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. go to see Lyndon Johnson to push him for a Voting Rights Act. Johnson says, I can't do it. I, I used all my power to get the Civil Rights Act done last year. I don't have the power to push Congress any further on voting rights. As they left the White House, Andy Young's words, he said, I asked softly, I asked uh, Dr. King what he thought. He said, I think we got to go get the president some power. And so you know what they did? They organized, these are Andy Young's words, we mobilized the churches, the universities, the labor unions, the business community, a coalition of people of goodwill. In other words, those of us who want to say voting rights, we need to get to work. I, I do think Biden is putting everything behind this, but he needs he needs better followers. So he needs all of us in the game as well. I remember what he said about the power of big business in that moment in moving the hand of politicians. Alyssa, there are zero. He said it. The Democratic Party doesn't have bad leaders. They have bad followers. In other words, it doesn't matter what Joe Biden doesn't accomplish or does accomplish. Really, what it comes down to is the followers and what they do. Now, first and foremost, he is completely disregarding the grassroots activism currently. On this day, on MLK Jr. Day, what's happening? There are marches in D.C. for voting rights, organizations who are trying to do this. So it's not like there isn't an effort on the ground to give Joe Biden more power. It's that Joe Biden is not doing enough to actually get this done. Now, let's be clear here. Yes, Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema are standing in Joe Biden's way. That's true. Nobody can deny that. But guess what would happen if there wasn't Joe Manchin? There'd be John Tester. There'd be Chris Coons. There'd be some other corporate ghoul who'd be standing in the way. And the message is always going to be, well, you know, the Democratic Party's base just didn't deliver for us. I mean, you didn't give us 60 votes. We need 60 to overcome the filibuster, so sorry. There's always going to be an excuse. Always going to be an excuse. But at the end of the day, to put the burden of legislation on people with no power and no money during a pandemic, when things are as bad as they could possibly be with regard to the state of the world and the country, it's just, it's a little bit immoral, no? It's a lot immoral. It's kind of shocking that he'd say this. I mean, I just, I don't, I don't know what to say anymore. The Democratic Party, it's not just that they're stupid and incompetent, because that's absolutely true. But the Democratic Party establishment, they won't ever admit this, but there's probably a large portion of them. I don't, I don't know how much, 40%, 50%, who actually want to lose. They want to lose because this party is so corrupt, so bought and paid for by special interests that passing anything would be an affront to at least one or two of their corporate donors. So it's a lot easier to just sit in Congress, sit on your ass and do nothing, have no power because you can make a lot of money fundraising off of what the Republicans won't let you do. But it's a lot more difficult to make a compelling case to your base when you actually have power, when your party is in control of all branches of government minus the Supreme Court. And putting aside the voting rights issue, there are more things that Joe Biden can do if he actually wants to affect the lives of the American people. And 
maybe, I don't know, save his sinking approval rating, he can sign an executive order today canceling all student debt. But he's not doing that because he's choosing to not do that. So it is absurd to me that with a straight face, a Democratic Party strategist, someone who's supposed to be a fucking expert, would say with a straight face that, no, 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 it's you. You're the one who's failing. Joe Biden doesn't have enough power. And that's because you failed. Disregarding the activism, the organization's currently trying to give Joe Biden more power. I mean, it's just, this is bleak shit. This is dystopian shit where the Democratic Party can fail time and again and not even accomplish the bare minimum needed to protect democracy. And who gets blamed? The voters get blamed. I'm gonna come. come, come, come. Do not come. Come, come, come. come. Come, 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 come.